Yo! Uh, welcome to episode 38 of the Bull in the China Shop podcast. Now, you're going to hear some a uh, little bit of background noise. This is the, uh, I'm on the road again, actually. I just got home from Amsterdam less than 48 hours ago, probably about 36 hours ago. Back on the road again. Uh, this is the dog life. It's what we do. It's how we do things. It never stops, and we don't stop. If you're not if you're not moving forward, you're not moving. Or if you're not moving forward, you're moving backwards. Something I don't know. Something like I don't know. Anyway, episode thirty-eight of the Bull in the China Shop podcast. I'm your host Ty Lumley. Uh, if you're new to the show, if this is the first time you've heard the show. Usually, I have a guest. Today, I do not. Uh, I'm just going to, I want to go do a little, just a short, maybe 30-minute recap of my trip to Amsterdam and to Holland for the ABKC event over there. Um, so this week, it'll just be me solo. If you do not want to just hear me solo, feel free to skip the episode. Feel free to tell me to fuck myself. Uh, no, but honestly, it took me it took me f- this entire time to just get back to feeling normal from from the trip to Amsterdam and and, and Holland uh, or the the ABKC Holland show. Um, it just I didn't didn't even sleep. I like to. When I'm when I'm traveling like uh, on a long flight, when I know it's going to be a long flight like that, it was about a nine-hour flight coming home from uh, Amsterdam to Detroit. So when it's a long flight like that, I like to try to stay up the night before so I can sleep on the plane because I don't really fit in the fucking airplane seats. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I'm fat. I'm just saying I'm a big guy. It's not like I need a, a seat belt extender. Okay, I know what you guys are thinking right now. I don't need a fucking seatbelt extender. I'm saying my shoulders overlap into everyone else's area and it's uncomfortable already. So a nine hour flight, I know that I'm not going to be able to sleep. So I like to stay up the night before before I come home so I can sleep. And it usually works. 99% of the time it works. Sometimes, even though you stay up, you still can't sleep just because like if I get stuck in a middle seat, like if it's a three if it's a three row seat or a four rows or four seats per row and I get stuck in a middle seat, it's fucked. I'm fucked. There's no, I can't even sleep. There's no way. It's not even possible. I'm just fucked. I'm in, I'm in the guy on the left seat. I'm in my seat. I'm in the guy on the right seat. There's nothing I can even do about it. But, um, anyway, so I went to, and I went to Holland uh, I dropped off uh, a puppy for a client, which was was uh, awesome flying with the puppy because all the the airline uh, crew members and employees and even the TSA were like loving the puppy, and you just have no problems. That puppy is like a instant defense barrier remover. You know what I mean? It's like if you want to if you want to take down the defenses of anyone around you, just bring out a puppy. It's all you have to do. But um, we flew flew over there, and a good friend of mine, Dave Colebrook, met me over there. To, we're just like a little uh, bro bro weekend in Amsterdam, which was super super dope and super exciting. I met Dave uh, ten or two thousand and thirteen. I don't even know where the number 10 came from or why I said that. But I met him in 2013. Uh, I was apprenticing at a bull, the, uh, I mentioned this before when I talked to William Byrne on the podcast. Um, Clash of the Coast Millennium Bulldog event over there that I, I sent myself over there just to dig deeper into the bulldog breeds and stuff. You know, I just realized that... I didn't do a sound check. I did not do a sound check. So I have no idea how this is going to sound. I hope it's loud enough. I hope you guys can hear me. Jeez, maybe I should have done a sound check here. I'm gonna. I'm actually going to turn this mic up. 
Just in case the motherfuckers can't hear me. You know what I mean? Is that better? Is that a little better? Is that a little better? What are we doing here? How are we doing? Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Sorry about that. If, if you couldn't hear the first five fucking minutes or six minutes or whatever it is, I am... I'm slow sometimes, and it takes me a minute to keep, keep up, keep up, catch up. Boy, I'm having, I'm struggling here. I'm having a time. Anyway, back to Amsterdam. So, met Dave back uh, 2013. Been my my brother from a British mother ever since. So anyway, so Dave met me over there. We landed pretty much the same time. We took this fucking train from Amsterdam Airport into Amsterdam. And I never realized this, but they have like double decker, they have double decker trains. Oh, I'd never, it was like a, like in London, they have the double decker buses where you have the upstairs, you go upstairs. But in Amsterdam, they have double decker trains where they have a, a seating area downstairs. You walk upstairs, a seating area upstairs also. It's crazy. Anyway, took the train into Amsterdam. To close to where our hotel was at, we still had it was still far enough to where we had to take a cab from where the train station was. But um, walking through the train station in Amsterdam, Amsterdam Central, we I seen I think three different bull breeds in the train station: an American bulldog, a staffy bull, and an American pit bull terrier. I feel like um, in the train station, just randomly, just just dogs everywhere one of the things i love about going to the uk and ireland and europe and and these uh that country's over on that side is everyone walks their dogs everywhere like everyone has their dogs out walking them walking themselves i mean obviously um there's a lot of people here that do it also but it's it's much more visible there for some reason um, just, just people walking their dogs everywhere. And I get to see, I'm like a kid in a candy store because I love all, all kinds of breeds of dogs, especially bull, all the bull breeds. So it was great for me. Um, it was, it was a super nice, super nice, uh, hotel that we got to. Um, we said we had lunch that, that first day and then met up with a couple of guys from England, the, the guy, the client that I was dropping the puppy off to and, uh, friend of his and we went out in Amsterdam now if you don't know anything and everything you want is legal in Amsterdam okay it's legal it's legal it's there's there's no laws there's no laws saying you can't there's nothing prohibited basically so we the first thing I we did was went and found a coffee shop uh, called the bulldog coffee shop and it had a, a wide array of what I like to call adult cigarettes. Uh, if, if you can't put that one together, I can't help you. But so we sat down, had a, a few adult cigarettes and a few adult beverages. And we went, you know, went out in Amsterdam, seen a few things. But at this point, I had been up 30 hours because. Of, you know, leaving early because I had to the, the, bring the pet on the plane, the 16 hours worth of travel or so, and then um, at this time it was probably noon by, by the time, or, or 1 o'clock by the time we actually uh, went and sat down somewhere. So I was up almost about 30 hours. So going out that night was a little bit of a daunting prospect, honestly. I didn't know if I was going to be able to handle it. So we went out um, and had many adult beverages, many adult beverages. Um, nothing got, you know, not, 